Today I'm going to show you a new technique for using the mixed media brush from Wow Embossing Powder to get these really cool, artsy, unique, abstract backgrounds. Hey crafty people, it's Tasha, welcome back to my channel. If you like this video then I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up um, and maybe even consider sharing it so that more people can see. So as I said, today I'm going to be using the Mixed Media Brush Tool from Wow Embossing. Um, so this is like, it's got basically sticky embossing ink in a little glass jar and it's got like a nail varnish type brush that is attached to the lid. So it just allows you to do some different techniques um, and I'm going to show you one way of using it today. So I've chosen out a bunch of colours that I like and that I think would go together well and I've got a, um, a slimline panel. I'm just flashing you. I used this technique before um, to create a card um, for the new release that's happening this month so I can't show you the video for that. So I thought I would recreate the card with some powders that are already released but get a sneak peek there of what's coming <laughs> which is awesome um like i said it's got like a nail varnish type brush applicator um now you do get there's a lot of ink that sits on the brush so you need to sort of swipe it off anyway but what i've done here is that i've wiped it so that there's none of the ink on the wand part and i've really gone over a few times to get most of the ink off the brush because I want to get like a dry brush technique effect. So once I'm happy that there is, you know, like hardly any <laughs> of the ink left on the brush, then I'm just randomly swiping it over the paper. So you're going to get a completely different look each time because you just, I just swipe it wherever I feel like swiping it basically. Um, I do tend to go back and forth a few times because there is so little ink left on the brush so we do want to make sure that some ink does transfer onto the panel but um, I don't want there to be don't want there to be huge like blobs of, of the ink but also I really want that texture that you get from dry brushing. Um, so there are parts where you know hardly any powder sticks because there was hardly any ink and you get a really really cool texture when when you melt the powder. So heat embossing normally we would melt the powder until it is smooth and it's all yeah smooth <laughs> smooth um, but here once it's started to melt and therefore it, it is stuck to the paper um, especially on the edges of where the, the brush has gone where there's not much ink I've you know just heated it long enough for it to just start melting and then I've stopped heating it because I don't want it to all melt together I want to keep that texture um, and it's a really really cool look I really I really enjoy it um, so I will show you a couple of close-ups so that you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about because I might just be waffling on crazy <laughs> I'm not sure I'm hoping that you kind of you get what I mean um but yeah so I just I just think it's really cool um so I chose like a cream cream and I don't know is that salmon and navy with pops of gold for this slim line um, and I love the way that those colours look together um, really beautiful the the creamy one is oyster I think glints then Mayan glints now Aztec oh my goodness me I really do need to write them down um, and in the navy but we'll have them all linked below um, and then once I'm happy with the amount of colour I've got on, I'm just going to really, really, really gently brush the very dry brush over various points all over the card, um, over some parts where there isn't anything, but also over some of the other embossed colours um, to get some of the, this is the ultra high gold. Normally, when you're using ultra high, I would say don't flick the back. Don't you know you don't want to hit it hard because you're going to lose a lot of that 
you're going to lose a lot of that powder but here that's what I want um, I don't want a lot I just want little again the texture of little like it's like drops of molten metal um, that kind of effect and I love that and I did also use a paintbrush just to knock some of the bits off as well because I wanted those individual grains of the gold so we'll move on to the next panel that I made so this one I went a bit more mad with <laughs> the color choices um not really my usual <laughs> thing that I would I'd go for but it was fun to do um so this time I did an A2 panel um and I just did exactly the same steps so we've got primary orchid then Diana's Love, which is one of the Alexandra Renke powders. Um, there is a blue metallic one, um, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I did just want to mention, if you see here in the Diana's Love, you, can you see those like white bits of powder or whatever? Um, don't worry about it. It's, it. There's no issue that is meant to be there but those white things won't show up as white in your embossing um, the first time I opened one of my powders and I had that I messaged wow <laughs> oh I'm worried there's something up with my powder it's not honestly it's just part of the secret magic that wow have um, that makes these powders so amazing and so anti-static and everything else um, so yeah they'll just they'll just blow off as your your room heating it and um, i also pointed out there that because these are transparent powders where that red has layered on top of the purple you've got a different shade and i just think that's really cool um so yeah i did like the red the purple and the blue and once i was happy with the amount of color i had on there i added the silver ultra high I'm um, just in exactly the same way so that's the two panels now we'll move on to making the cards so I recently got this new alpha set it's from Julie Hickey designs um and I flipping love it it's amazing I, I just I love the the size and the shape of the letters and everything but as well like you get multiples of certain letters that you use that you know you use a lot so it's awesome <laughs> it's genius and i don't understand why nobody else has done that it is genius so like now um i'm going to cut out the word hello from this red cardstock um to go on the a2 panel so normally the l obviously i'd only have one of them so i'd have to run it through multiple times here i can just put the whole thing hello down on the red cardstock put a bit of um, washi tape, low tack tape, whatever you've you've got on hand to hold it in place and then I can run it through and then just peel that off and place it down again. Amazing! So I cut three of the hello and stacked them up to give me um, a more um, just, uh, just like the stacked up look for my sentiments. Um, so here I'm going to, out of this gold, I'm cutting happy B day um, and again with that I can cut that whole thing in one pass happy B day I mean I could cut happy birthday in one pass as well it's just amazing <laughs> I cannot get over how clever this is so and then here see I've got it taped together so I'm just gonna lift it all up from that that cardstock from the the speciality pearly gold cardstock that I've got there um, and just place it straight down onto this this is like a yellowy cream just cardstock which I'm just going to use to layer up behind the gold um fabulous I can't get over it <laughs> I, I oh it's just genius so I trimmed a bit of the panel down and I added a stripe of navy cardstock at the bottom um and i was absolutely ecstatic to find that 
even though I had not planned it at all, that the the size of the navy cardstock strip was just perfect for me to have my words written across as if that was the line and I could still fit the descender parts of the P and the Ys um, below the line. It'd still be on the card. Perfect. I could tell you that I planned it, but I didn't. So for the um, the other the A2, I've cut that down and matted it onto a silver, um, like speciality paper cardstock stuff, um, which I cut that to A2 size and attached that to a card base with liquid glue. Popped the embossed background up on some foam tape. Um, on top and then I added the hello Um, I decided to forgo any embellishments because yeah there's there's enough on there <laughs> Um, and yeah so that's a new technique that you could try let me know what you think whether you'll give it a try do you like this kind of abstract art I don't know it's almost like a painting but it's not painting like I said not my usual style but I'm really happy with how they turned out so I would love to see what you guys get up to, what you use the mixed media brush for. Um, and also, go show some love to Julie Hickey, because she's a flipping genius. Wow. If you like the video, then please do give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you aren't already, please. Um, and, you know, if you could share this video on Facebook or whatever, then that would be lovely. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a lovely, happy, safe, wonderful week. Stay crafty, guys. Bye.